Hey everybody, Mike Sarwinski here with Metalogic Design. This video, we're gonna take you through how to set up conversion tracking in Google Tag Manager. Okay, so uh, in the other video that I made, how to set up Google Ads for a local service company, we had created two conversions. One of them is for web form submissions and the other one is for call extensions. Uh, this one is set up and the web form submission is not yet, okay? so. These are the different ways that we can do it. Install it yourself. Take this code and manually install it. You can do the email tag, which means send it to somebody who knows how to do it. Or you can do Google Tag Manager. Okay. So when you set up this conversion, it gave you the ID and the conversion label. I just Googled Google Tag Manager. I'm going to go to Google Tag Manager. I logged in already, so it's going to tell you to log in, and it's going to tell you to create an account. Okay, so we'll just do Metalogic Demo. United States. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Let's do Metalogic Design. And then this is for desktop and mobile web pages. So that's what we're doing. Okay. And we're going to click create. And they're going to say, you need to say yes to all of these things. So you can read it if you want. Click yes. <clears throat> and now you can install this. This is the code that you're going to need to either manually install on your site or use a plugin. The reason why Google Tag Manager is great is if you're doing it properly, you're gonna to wanna to add Google Ads to your site, the tracking. You're gonna to wanna to add Google uh, Analytics. You're gonna want, if you're doing any Facebook or social media, you're gonna to wanna to put your pixel. So instead of logging into your website every single time and adding all these snippets of code, you add one snippet of code from Google Tag Manager, and then you just keep adding your new the the new tracking code to this one platform, and from here you can manage everything through tags. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is add a tag. So you're going to go to tags, new. Make sure that it's very important that you label this. So we always call it GADs, like for Google Ads, and the the conversion that we want to track here is. Um, the form submissions, right? So we're going to do website form submissions. Okay. Now we're going to do Google ads conversion tracking. When you click on this URL. Okay. So it's going to ask for the conversion ID. So here I'm going to go copy the conversion ID, paste it. We're going to do conversion label, paste it, and you can leave all these other things blank. This is just a simple setup. Not, you don't need anything super fancy. Uh, then we have to say, hey, go hey, Google, whenever somebody reaches a certain page, that counts as a conversion. So hit trigger. We don't want it to, to count as a conversion if they go to all these pages all pages or anything else, okay? So we have to create one. We're gonna say, hey, this is the website thank you page. Okay, then we have to configure it. Um, what we want here is the page view, okay? So on all page views or on just some pages? We just want it on one page actually, and it's going to be the page URL equals, and I'm just going to use our thank you page. Thank you. That's what we want. If you have multiple pages, you can add another one. If you have a specific landing page and a different thank you page for an offer or something, you can put it there. But I'm just doing it for a simple thank you page. Save. And now you can see it's firing on the page view for here. Okay, now we're gonna save that. 
and that tag is completely set up. Now, if you go back here, it says, make sure to add a conversion linker tag to, con uh, to configure it to fire on all of your web pages. Okay, so we need to make a new tag. And we'll call this the GADS conversion linker. So again, you have two sections. We're gonna configure it first and it's right here, conversion linker. That's it. And we want this to trigger on all pages. So how the workflow works is if, if you're sending somebody to a website, you take, let's say you're sending them to your homepage. They go to the homepage, they're, they, um, they now have a, a cookie on there saying, hey, this person came from Google Ads. And they start, start clicking around the different pages. They're still going to be tagged on all those pages. So if they go to the removal page instead of the homepage, um, it counts as well. Okay, so we want to show this on all pages. Save. Hey, everybody. Hey, I know that this is going to seem weird because it's uh, I'm wearing different clothes and uh, it's not the same as the, the video you've been watching. But I realized as I was editing this video that I forgot um, a major step in the whole process. So once all your tags are set up and you're ready to go, make sure you hit submit. OK, hit submit. And you can make a description of the change that you made. Hit publish. Continue. And now you're all set to go. So make sure you hit the submit button, okay? I forgot to add that in my last video. Thanks. The thing that, the most important part now is going to be, if you go into admin, this right here, GTM right here, if you're using WordPress or another editor, there's probably some sort of plugin. I know there's one for WordPress, but if you're using like a Wix or a, uh, whatever other types of other ones there are out there, there should be a, a plugin that you can use and you just put in the GTM parameters here, okay? If um, if you don't know how to do that and there's an, a section in your website editor where you can install these codes, then you need to manually take this, put it on the header, um, as high in the head tag as you can, and then this right here needs to go in the body tag. And then it's and then it will be set up and verified. Okay. And once that is set up and verified, this right here will say verified. And uh, then you can go back in, all done, go to your campaign, go to your settings. And when you do manual, you can do enhanced CPC for conversions. And now we're all ready to roll. I uh, hope that you found this information helpful. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, that's fine. Uh, I did my best. Uh, and if you wanna get some more content like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel because uh, we're gonna be uh, really helping out a lot of local service companies with the digital marketing. So hope you guys like it. Talk to you guys soon, bye.